hello and welcome back to the channel uh, this video is is very funny it's, it's very very comical um, you are probably gonna find it to be comical as well but there is a lot of truth uh, that is going to be spoken in this clip that I'm going to be sharing with you um, it kind of reminds me of a video that I just put out uh, not too long ago where I was talking about what uh, so-called black women can learn from white women uh, some of you looked at the title and you were just completely thrown by that. You had no idea of what I was about to unleash in that video where I was basically uh, talking about how the so-called white woman has been complicit with um, the deeds of her man uh, for centuries. And that is, you know, kind of like uh, the basis of what I was talking about. But what's interesting, I did that video many, many years ago. This was just a re-upload that um, most of you saw. That video was done years ago, okay? So a lot of people were talking about how I sounded in the video. I want you to understand that that was something done some time ago. But uh, just to uh, bring it back to today, um, in the comment section, someone had mentioned this fellow by, by the name of Bill Burr. He's a comedian, okay? Um, he has such a hilarious clip, but in the clip he is talking, he's speaking the truth in this clip. And some things, uh, there were other things that he was talking about that was just totally different. So we're not going to be sharing that at all. But we're going to share the portion where he is speaking about uh, the privilege of the white woman that she didn't even realize that she had and how she was able to single-handedly take over a movement that belonged to other oppressed people, but she put herself at the front of the line. Of course, he says it in a very comical way, but I want to let you go ahead and take a listen for yourself, and then I will be right back. <laughs> Plowing ahead, let's, let's talk uh, Let's talk white women here, shall we? Let's talk white women, white women, you're amazing. Amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, it's really good. generals around the world should be analyzing this. <laughs> Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserve, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight Funny. seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My life is so hard eh, with my SUV and my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Trash and white guys. The nerve, where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. Let me, I, listen, I don't want to speak ill on my here, okay? I don't, but well, let's, let's go back in history here, okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy, and occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so did anyone detect any lies in what he said? Did you detect any lies? Did this guy not just tell the truth? with comedy, he used comedy to tell the truth. How people are trying to make it seem like they're victims, but really they were complicit right there for hundreds of years. And, and to me, this also shows that people know what happened in history and they like to play dumb. Uh, this guy used his comedy show in which he's married to a woman of color, okay? He's married to a so-called black woman, but he used his comedy show uh, to just uh, educate some people on what happened here in history in this, in this country. Because you have those who want to pretend like uh, we're just we're just angry for no reason they they want to pretend like nothing really bad happened in slavery and that we were all just indentured servants who were treated well you see how they try to change the narrative they actually want to put that in the school books to make it seem as though what their ancestors did was not so bad but again he's talking about the white woman in which uh, she represents mo the majority of the teachers in the public school system and so this stuff is taught, is, is taught in a way to where it is believed that it's a damage or it's, it's wrong to teach the truth about 
the history of this country. But this guy says, no, not so fast. Even if I have to put it in comedy, you're going to hear, you're going to hear about the truth of this country. So he put it right there in a comedic strip in which it was, you know, you can chuckle at it now because of the, the delivery of how he put it out there. But the sad reality is this, that many try to give the white female a pass for what happened in history because they believed and the, the narrative is taught that she was just as much a victim. But like this guy said, nope, you weren't a victim. You were rolling around in the blood money. That's, I mean, that's how he put it out there. So um, I am just sharing what this white comedian has said and so many others. Uh, there's another guy, um, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now, but uh, he was talking about, you know, the Native Americans, how they are the ones who called them Indians and, and they didn't care that that wasn't really their names. And um, he said he's gonna ride this white thing out because uh, wherever he goes, it's like, welcome, table for two, you know? Some of you may remember who that guy is, but um, he is fully aware as well that he used his comedy to say, look, you're trying to say that we got it bad, <laughs> but we really don't. He And he even says, wee, as it relates to being a so-called white person, right? And everyone's in the audience is laughing and chuckling away because they know that that privilege exists. But when a so-called black person say uh, that, um, say that we are oppressed as a result of that privilege, that's when they say, you are keeping racism alive. You are the problem. You are the reason why we don't like you. You know, that, 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 that wetico, that disease of wetico just kicks in when we try to say, uh, this is what happened to our ancestors. Uh, this is what's still happening now. And then we're gaslighted pretty much. You don't know what you're talking about. You're the problem, right? That's wetico all day long. When you know as a person that you have uh, receive the benefits of being who you are and you have no sympathy for what has happened to people who have to suffer as a result of your privilege. That is definitely the, the disease of Wetico. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share this clip because um, I don't know when he did this comedy. I don't know when it happened uh, originally, uh, but the fact that he's talking about uh, mask and mandates and all of that. It, sh it must have been recent. Uh, he was also talking about, um, um, yeah, he was talking about the mask and mandate. So it must be something that's recent. Okay. But the, the clip that I did years ago uh, sounds so much like what I was trying to say in his comedy. I was trying to say just that, that they pretty much rolled around in the blood money with their men. And yet you have those who say that what we need to learn from them is, you know, all this other stuff. And I'm like, uh, do you know history? Do you know what they were doing? They were upholding and supporting their men when they did things that harmed other people. Well, anyway, I am done with this video. And it's unfortunate that when you speak the truth, I know I said I'm done, but I want to say this part. It's unfortunate when you speak the truth about history and what's happened to you, what's happened to your family, what's happened to your people. When you speak the truth of these things, when you speak the truth, you have those, you have those, you have those who will say that you are the problem. They will say that you are the problem and that you are the racist, as if we are not allowed to talk about what we have gone through as a people. Okay, I am done for sure this time. Remember in the comment section to keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time. We hope you like today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video. And with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.